What's up guys, Jim Collector here back with another video and today is episode one of Jim Shoots. Jim Shoots is my new photography vlog series where I'm basically going to go from how I take this camera and this figure and create photos like the one today that you can see right above here. Now this isn't a tutorial video at all, it's I'm still very much learning this craft and this hobby. Um, so this is kind of more about my creative process and my learning process as well. So although the image that I get today I am quite happy with, a lot of it is a lot of trial and error and you'll see later how many different photos that I actually take just to get that one good image. So guys stick around and let's see how this goes. All right, so here you can see me setting up ready for the shoot. Um, I've got a basic Amazon tripod, which is uh, nice and cheap. And I have these really cheap lights as well that you can see me setting up here. I've had them for well over a year now, but um, they do the job so far. There's nothing fancy about them. They just plug in and they do change colors. The other ones has uh, it cards. The square one has cards to so kind of change the colors of it as well. And I'm going to use that to get the lightsaber effect. But yeah, this is kind of how I set up every single time I want to shoot. All uh, right, so this is generally my basic setup. So I kind of just pretty much use a two light system. Sometimes I'll use um, a light overhead as well to frame the figure nicely. Um, there is proper terminology, but you know, as I said, I'm still just kind of learning this stuff and essentially winging it as I go and picking up stuff here and there off of uh, YouTube and just for experience. So obviously I've got my camera set up, I've got my two lights set up and I've got more set up as well. Now, normally what I do is I pre-decide on the shot I'm gonna get. I haven't done that today. So what I like to do is just for a bit of inspiration, if I'm struggling, I like to get some photos on YouTube. So obviously more is our subject matter. So we can see lots of different shots here. We're gonna scroll on through and we're gonna decide on which um, image of more we want to try and kind of take inspiration from or recreate. So we're gonna do that now. All right, so I quite like this image here. I'm. Um, I, I generally like to try and take portraits at the moment. The good thing about these figures is, to be quite honest, as I learn, it helps because they do 90% of the work for me by just looking so damn good. So yeah, we're gonna try and pose more up now and recreate this um, as close as possible and maybe put our own spin on it. We'll see how creative we are feeling today. All right, so now we get to pose the figure, and this is one of my favorite parts of any photography shoot. It's just a great way, I think, A, to get the photo, but also B, to kind of try different poses and even think of different display ideas in the cabinets. But the sideshow bodies leave a little bit to be desired, so that took a minute here. But I think we managed to pull off the pose, and hopefully he will stand for the duration of the shoot. All right, so here we have more kind of posed up, similar to the kind of uh, reference image that we've decided here. Um, obviously we're stuck with the head sculpt that we have, so there's only so much we can do. But the sideshow sculpt on this is pretty gnarly, so I think we can come up with a pretty decent shot. So now all we need to do is get our camera in the proper um, position. All right, let's see what we can do and we'll punch back in when I've got the camera in the right position for the shot. All right, so setting up the camera, and this is where you'll see that I make so many tiny little micro adjustments, um, trying to get the best frame or shot that I can come up with. And it's something that I'm still very much learning the process of, and it does take me a lot of time. I'll probably try a few different angles, and I won't like a lot of them. In fact, I did try a lot of different angles. But um, yeah, we're gonna keep this here. We're gonna adjust the figure and see how we go. All uh, right, so here we go. So I have added in this extra light down here. What I like about that, although it's hard to see on the monitor here because of the, um, the pixelation there which kind of tells me where the focus is it really kind of brightens out his right eye which i really do like and um having eyes that pop i found have really made these uh, photos i've been taking um pop and look more realistic which is nice so i've now got three lights so one to imitate the red lightsaber one as a backing light to give the figure a nice little um, outline and one just to cast shadows and light up the features of the face that i want to be accentuated so what we're going to do now guys is we're going to try a few shots then i'll pop those up on screen and we can kind of see what we've got all right and it's finally time to take some photos um, and what you'll see in this is how much i change these lights around um, now a lot of that is just because i want to diversify the shots that i take throughout so i can get a lot of different images to choose through for the final product uh, which is quite key but also a lot of it is just kind of learning 
how different light works. So obviously this setup here that I had, spoiler alert, did not work at all. <laughs> I didn't like this, but it did give me some ideas that I needed to kind of change the lighting on the face that I had initially. So like I said, although I thought I was happy with myself in the last, uh, last little screen, I wasn't. And it's not until you take some photos and review them that you really see the differences. Um, see, there I go, swapping around and knocking Darth Maul on the floor. That poor guy, man. It's a good thing he uh, lasts pretty well. Yep, so there we go. So we'll change around the lights a lot. And then that will give us a lot of different photos to pick and choose from until we decide on which photo is our favourite. All right, so we've tried a few different shots and moved the lights around to kind of see what different effects we can get. So a lot of the stuff that I do is generally just kind of trial and error. Um, that's how I'm learning at the moment. And it's quite an enjoyable process, I won't lie. And it's helped me understand kind of how shadows and um, the way light bounces off the eyes really can make a huge difference in, um, in photography. And it's really lighting that I play around with the most. Um, my framing could use a little bit of work, but I think this is the pretty much the final product that we have here. So we're gonna capture a couple more. Um, I generally capture quite a lot of photos and then just when I've got time, sit down and go through my favorites, but I'm quite liking how this is looking at the moment. So yeah, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our last shots. We're gonna edit and then I'll see you guys back with the final product and I'll give you kind of my thoughts and how I think uh, the photo turned out. All right, so now that we've finished our shot, what we need to do is we need to decide on our favorite image. So I have chosen this image right above here. That is the one that we will edit. Now, if you look through on the scroll that I'll just show up now, um, there is so many photos that I took. You can see just from here, if you slide as I scroll, so many, so many photos. But we've chosen on this image. And what we're now gonna do is we're gonna edit. Now I do all my editing in my phone. So I use two main apps. I use Lightroom, which is a really, really good um, color and effects editing app. I recommend you use it. And also I'm gonna use Lens FX to get the lightsaber effects afterwards as well. A really powerful app that was recommended to me by um, Jay Khaled on Instagram. He does some amazing photography work. So do check him out on Instagram as well. I'll put his um, thing in <laughs> his thing. I'll put it below in the uh, description. But yeah, so after we've done the editing, this is what the photo did look like, and now this is what it does look like. So guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the final, uh, final photo. And also don't forget, do drop me some comments below on ways that I can improve my photography and improve my setup and gear as well. And also if anyone else is interested in trying photography, do let me know below. If you've got any questions, I'll try to answer them as best I can, or I'll direct you to someone that is far more um, ready to <laughs> answer your questions. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the future video. Thank you.